J-Ray 501 here. Senator threatens to sue nuclear agency over withheld documents. This was written January 30th, 2014. Senator Barbara Boxer of California is threatening to sue the U.S. Nuclear Regulatory Commission for withholding information related to a now-defunct nuclear power plant that lawmakers and watchdog groups feared was a security risk. Southern California Edison decided last year to permanently close the San Onofre nuclear power plant in Boxer's home state after the senator raised concerns about damaged steam generators that activists said made the site vulnerable to sabotage. The lawmaker has demanded to get to the bottom of how defective technologies were permitted to be fielded from the outset. NRC Chairman, Chairwoman, Chair Monster, Allison McFarlane in November denied Boxer's claims that the agency was withholding information from the lawmaker. But Boxer pushed back Thursday at a hearing saying the commission had yet to provide all the documents she requested. Maybe we have to go to court. Maybe we have to sue you, Boxer told McFarlane and the four other presidentially appointed commissioners. I will get this information even if I have to go to the whistleblowers. Boxer chastised the commissioner saying NRC officials had said very sweetly that they would provide all the information she requested and then later said in a phony legal argument claiming that they weren't even required to do so. The concern regarding the plant involved replacement steam generators. That's a key part of the reactor's cooling systems that had been installed at the San Onofre plant. A tube in one San Onofre reactor's replacement steam generator had burst, while another was found to have hundreds of damaged tubes. Activists argued that these flaws would make it easier for a terrorist to sabotage the plant and cause a meltdown, particularly if an attack resulted in breaking the reactor's main steam line. Boxer, who chairs the Senate Environment and Public Works Committee, said, we do not yet have all the answers to how the disastrous situation at the San Onofre plant occurred. She said it was unclear why NRC officials permitted the flawed equipment to be installed in the first place and that the information she was seeking will provide lessons learned for the Commission's future safety decision-making activities. According to the Senator, the Commission introduced a new policy how convenient, limiting the distribution of non-public information to members of Congress last year, prompting lawmakers to overturn the policy as part of appropriations legislation approved this month. Can you, can you believe that? Saying that Congress doesn't need to be informed about non-public information. So in other words, they think they're a little secret society. The NRC was implemented to regulate these nuclear power plants so that the US citizens would remain safe. That was their main goal, to keep us safe. Boxer slammed the Federal Commission for not acting in a transparent manner generally and complained that the agency also was not releasing information pertaining to how it justifies its travel budget. I wonder if they went to Disneyland while they were here in California. She expressed support for NRC officials visiting certain destinations such as Japan, the site of the 2011 Fukushima disaster. However, other destinations to which NRC officials had traveled looked fun to go to, but it is unclear why they were necessary, she said. Boxer said she would continue to press the issue at another hearing real soon. In the next session, she promised also to grill the commissioners regarding their decision to conduct cost-benefit analysis of various actions NRC staff had recommended 
that the U.S. industry be required to take to ensure their facilities don't experience a Fukushima-type disaster. Wow. The California senator argued the analyses were unnecessary and that the wide scope of the devastation the Fukushima incident caused in Japan had provided enough justification for the preventative measures to be taken at all U.S. facilities. She said the NRC studies had caused the agency to fall behind schedule in terms of implementing the recommendations. In some cases, the Commission has opted not to make certain requirements of the power industry on the grounds that the probability of events occurring that would require such protections was low. Eh, you know, don't worry about it. We're safe here. No risk. Nuclear power is safe. No problem. However, Boxer said, it would be improper for the agency to decide against implementing the recommendations on such a basis. She said the 2001 attacks on New York and Washington, along with recent catastrophic weather events, had shown that the unexpected can occur. You can all say it will never happen here, but we are not, we are just not that powerful, Boxer said. We're humble. In other words, how can anyone say that we are safe? Is there such a thing as being too safe? After we've had Chernobyl, after we've had Fukushima, after we've had Three Mile Island? I just, I, I, I'm just stymied at how the no regulatory con mission acts. So obviously they have an agenda that does not include any safety at all for any of us. Wow. Well, as always, God bless because we really need it. <laughs>